Okay, so update. I have no clue where we are. Huh? We're at a Burger King and this Circle K in the middle of nowhere. We're, we're headed north. We just played some France shows, two France shows. Now we're headed north to Oslo, but we're on the way. We took one ferry today and now we're sort of trapped because not only is the air conditioning broken in our bus, but also our bus drivers have to take breaks. So we're actually trapped at this Burger King for nine hours, which is hilarious. While our bus gets fixed and they take their, it's like a legally required break, the drivers. So yeah, um, once they're done, we'll probably get rolling around 2 a.m. And then we have to catch another ferry, which means no sleep because legally you cannot, according to maritime law, you can't stay on your vehicle on the ferry. You have to get off and go inside. So it'll be another night of no sleep due to ferries, which we've already had a couple of, which are always fun. Here's some of my thoughts on touring so far. I'm two weeks into tour. We've played seven or eight shows and we have been on the road for, I've been on the road for two weeks. I've been away from home for two weeks. I'm having a blast. It is a really fun, unique experience. There are challenges. There are like roller coaster moments. There are um, ups and downs for sure. I'll start with the downs and get them out of the way quick because there are way more positives. One down I definitely didn't expect. We have a huge tour bus, it's, it's fucking awesome, but it's not that tall. So like I hit my head on the bus constantly. And I mean, I've done it eight or nine times, like a, a full smack of my head. And on top of that, when you're moving around, like trying to get your clothes out or get ready to go do load in or, or you know, put your, sh your clothes away to get in bed or whatever it is, like just doing little life things of taking care of your personal items, you're hunched over the whole time. And it sounds like a dumb little thing, but it gets exhausting mentally because you're just always hunched over digging through your bags and stuff. Didn't really think about that being a thing, but it is a thing and it's kind of frustrating. We have some weird travel days that are definitely a negative, you know, catching fairies at two in the morning and not getting any sleep sucks, but whatever, you know, it just comes with the turf. I'd rather be here than in an office. So. Uh, I have to say that the one of the hardest things about touring that I did not expect um, working as a guitar tech is just how much I would be inside. Um, I think, you know, I'm here in Florida. This is where I live. I love being outside. Um, I love the beach. I love the mountains. I love hike. I just love being outside. <laughs> When you're, when you're touring, you, you're in a venue pretty much all day long. I was just watching back some old videos and there's a video of me coming outside like, oh my God, I need fresh air. And that was one of the biggest challenges I think for me was being inside all day long and being in like a dark, big theater uh, or venue or bar, or whatever it was. I think another huge one that I sort of expected, but you know, not in the way it happened was the physical toll. So. You know, working as a tech, I'm loading and unloading the trailer, I'm working with the other crew members, we're pushing gear around everywhere, unpacking everything, setting it up, and breaking it back down and packing it back up. This is a lot of physical work, and where I expected to get sore and be hurt is not where I got sore and hurt. And that was a weird challenge because, like, you know, catching a case as it falls, for example, my right elbow got really sore. Um, and I totally didn't expect that, but that was my dominant hand for, you know, catching and pushing heavy things up and down. Another place where I got really sore and I didn't expect it was in sort of the middle, lower uh, area of my back. Just from all of the hunching over, like digging through your bags and picking things up and cables and all kinds of stuff. Um, so I think a big challenge that I certainly wasn't aware of when it comes to touring and that, you know, I knew it was gonna be physical. Uh, I didn't understand how though, so I think moving forward, you know, the way to train for being on a crew or being on a road crew or, you know, teching or teching for yourself, working for your own band, whatever it might be, man, you gotta stretch your lower back. You gotta stretch your lower back. That's That was a big one. Positives, there are so many. First of all, is just the obvious number one positive for me is getting to spend so much time around the band, the crew, Steve, you know, everyone has a, a big personality and a lot of energy and enthusiasm and, and I'm just around a bunch of artists and I really like that. I feel like I'm around my people. Um, and, you know, 
the music is like my favorite, some of my favorite music ever. And Steve's, of course, playing is like, I would say my number one inspiration to play the guitar is Steve's playing. So that's really cool to, you know, get to work on that team and be around the music that I love so much and be inspired by it. And, you know, just get to talk about music and ask ask Steve questions about, what were you thinking during sound check? You know, when you, when you played that new jam or when, you know, and just getting to immerse myself in the culture of music, but not just any kind of music, like the music that I really love. My goal, more than anything, is to be a composer and a performer. And I guess it's just really nice to spend so much time around someone who has built a whole career doing exactly that. And, you know, to be able to pick his brain and pick everyone's brain about touring and about music and what makes for a great player. And, you know, I'm just learning a lot, man. I'm learning a lot. And taking care of the guitars is really fun. Being a guitar tech, you know, load in and load out is a lot of work, load out especially, more so than load in. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of physical work. It's tiring. And definitely the hardest part about it is that you have to mentally keep track of like 500 items. Like there's so many small items that I'm keeping track of gear wise. And it's a lot of work to keep track of all that stuff. Uh, another huge positive, seeing all these um, different places. Paris was gorgeous. London was awesome. I loved Ireland, Dublin. Definitely my favorite place so far was Dublin. That was the coolest. Yeah, so get to see a lot of great places and learn from the best of the best and, you know, people that I really look up to and um, make great friendships and eat some cool food and see great places, man. There's there's like a lot to love. It has its challenges like today, you know, but overall, uh, there's a lot to love. There's a lot to love about touring, right, Phil? I love it. So much. My chocolate milk and your vlogging camera. You too. It's YouTube? That, it's that, that YouTube, YouTube money. money? That YouTube money. That YouTube. What's your favorite and least favorite parts about this tour? Uh, my favorite part is probably I need to spend time with Dante. Uh, my least wow. favorite part is when Dante's kind of being whiny. Stupid! He loses his cables once every so often. I do complain if I lose cables, but that's because other people touch them. No, he doesn't complain. This man had just gotten a brand new cable. A new piece of gear like four days into tour, which is a curveball. It's, it's just one small cable. That's all. And the stagehands decided that they wanted to pack everything. Well, they were good stagehands. They wanted to pack everything up, but without his permission. So yeah. he didn't know where it went. Yeah. It ended up getting packed anyways. Yeah. So it was in the wrong diverted, place. But oh well, at least it got packed. It got packed in the wrong place. And if you've been on tour, you know that if something goes out of place, it can cause a fit of panic in the person responsible for that thing working. Being a guitar tech, it's a misleading title because actually 80% of the time, I'm working on ensuring all the gears packed correctly. I'm working on making sure the stage is set appropriately and that things are where they need to be and that, of course, that the instruments are clean and maintained and in tune and ready to go. But there are a lot of other things happening, making sure gear doesn't get stolen, making sure the trailer is locked appropriately. There's, you know, how the bus is parked, that there's so many things that I learned and sort of, we all as crew members take on during the tour to make sure that the job gets done right that I didn't expect. You know, that that was definitely a huge challenge that, that I did not foresee. Again, this was my first tour, so uh, I had so much to learn and I spent the vast majority of the time acting as a sponge, just trying to soak everything up, learning from Phil about the, how the lights work, learning from Carlos about what he does as tour manager and what he does with the front of house. And of course, learning from Dave and learning from Jeremy and Philip and Steve about how they play and you know, I love talking to Steve about what he was thinking when he comes up with stuff at Soundcheck because he's sort of writing things on the spot. And, you know, as a you know composer, I'm always looking for new ideas and, you know, working on my writing is the most important thing to me. So, you know, getting to pick their brains about what were you thinking when you played this or how do you approach that? It's just so, so invaluable for me to just engross myself in music and not just any music, right? Music like, I really love. You know, if you know me, you know how much I love Steve's playing, you know how much I love the music, and how much I love the band. So it's just such a treat to get to be a part of that, to work on the crew, to support that, to get to know these guys, and you know, put the show on. So that's a huge positive. Another huge positive is, um, even though you are inside a lot, you do get to see some really cool places. And I got to see so many cool places I never would have thought I would have been in Europe. Um, and that's just getting started for this tour, so I'm really excited about that. Another huge positive, the food. I ate so much great food, so much different food, so many places, there were so many memorable meals, like my iPhone is just loaded up with pictures of cool meals. Some of them weren't even that great, but just unique and cool and different, and some were really amazing, and 
Some were like presented in a really unique way and the venues have had so much character, you know, so. There, there were just so many positives, man. I, I could go on and on and on about the positives. Um, but yeah, so all in all, you know, it was an amazing experience for my first tour. I couldn't have asked for more. It was a great, great time. I worked super hard, super long days. My body took, it definitely took a toll. My back, my, my right elbow, especially from catching cases and picking things up. All in all, man, it was a great experience. And it was a lot of hard work, but one of the biggest positives is sleeping on that bus. Oh man, sleeping on the bus is a blast. You're so tired from the day. By the time you lay down, it's like you just drift off. You instantly fall asleep and you get the best sleep you've ever had. It's really comfortable and cozy in the bunk and everything. So those are some of my thoughts on touring, some of the things that I thought were challenges. But let me know in the comments, you know, what are some things that you think would be challenging about tour? Or if you have toured before, what are some of the things that you found challenging? Do you agree, disagree? Leave a comment, subscribe if you like the video. I'm gonna be vlogging all these adventures on tour with the Steve Vai band and everything in the coming weeks and months. And it's gonna be great. So uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for checking out all the videos and I hope you get something out of this you know this is the kind of thing that for me I love to watch and learn so yeah thanks for stopping by hope you enjoyed and see you on the road all right thank you